Hey. Little update on the DIY power wall project. Not a whole lot has changed. I'm doing a lot of testing right now. And um, this uh, buck, DC to DC buck converter is doing amazing. Someone in the comments, extremely helpful. They told me how to actually get these digital boards to start up automatically. It was super easy. They work very well. So these are actually become very useful to me if I add more solar. Problem is these are a little bit less efficient, but that's okay. I'm still gonna use them because I bought, how many did I buy? I bought um, five, six, seven. I bought eight of these, killed one. Um, you know, touched something that shouldn't have been touched. And it exploded. By exploded, it just puff of smoke. But, uh, yeah. <clears throat> I'm thinking, right now I have three cell packs per BMS. I ordered some more uh, 16S BMS instead of two individual 8S BMSs. Um, but, um, I'm thinking about putting six Instead of three modules per BMS, I might be I might try six modules per BMS because these modules are extremely uh, good condition. The, they're they're pretty balanced. Well, um, I'm pretty sure that uh, these would be able to keep up, <clears throat> and then I'm doubling my capacity per uh, um, BMS board. And these they're not cheap. These BMSs they, these are around twenty three twenty four dollars each and uh, I got a lot of batteries here so I want to keep this as cost effective as possible but we'll see what I need obviously I'm gonna go I'm gonna use what I have to use but with my testing so far like right now I'm using the same thing as what I always use inside the house got my Alienware laptop Asus laptop uh, a computer screen, a projector, and a bar fridge, and whatever else plugged in and charging. Like there's quite a few things. It's only taking 130 watts right now, um, <clears throat> but this is pretty continuous throughout the day. And uh, with the fridge turning on and off, it takes quite a bit. We've used 1.69 kilowatts of power. Um, <clears throat> that's of course this is only a one kilowatt hour pack, so this is starting from this morning that means it produced about a little over a kilowatt of power now we're only we're only at 58.6 volts which this will not run through the night at this current rate because by the time I'm I go to bed this will probably be at like 53 52 volts and at that point the batteries are almost dead it's not gonna have enough power to go through the night to run the bar fridge so for me a one kilowatt hour pack like this and uh, like it's charged every day by solar but I use more than that just with my laptops and my entertainment purposes and one bar fridge alone I use more than that a night so in this testing stage I'm I kind of want to double it I want to get two kilowatt hour packs or, or two kilowatt hours total and I believe I should be able to run with the solar panels charging them during the day I should have enough power all night long for the bar fridge after I go to bed and all my uh, usage uh, before that and yeah just want to share that what I'm doing with this uh, the current draw the no load current draw on this is almost nothing it barely shows up on my clamp meter at all um, so I'm thinking it's like I don't know point one or two of an amp at 60 volts so I don't know exactly what that is, maybe like an amp at 12 volts equal to, something like that. And yeah, the unit's working flawlessly. Uh, my power factor is only 77% and that's like most of the time that's on with the devices that I'm using off this inverter. So really I've used more like 2.2 uh, uh, 2 uh, kilowatts of, of volt amp power which is the actual power coming out of the batteries watts is just uh, it's a different method of calculating um, but 
I've actually pulled more power from the system than 1.7 kilowatts. It's just some of the electricity goes to waste and they don't count that. But uh, anyways, yeah, everything's working great. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this uh, quick update. Hit the like button helps a lot.